I recently got back from Chaos Communication Congress, my favorite hacking conference of all time, and one that many American hackers may not have heard of. I'll explain what happened this year and why you might want to consider checking it out next year. So what is Chaos Communication Congress? Originally started in 1984, it has since been moved to Berlin, back to Hamburg, then to Leipzig, and then back again to Hamburg this year. It attracts about 17,000 attendees, which is about 10,000 less than attend DEF CON every year. One of the things I like most about C3 is that it has a bigger focus on the impact of technology on society and a bit smaller of a focus on cybersecurity, meaning it tends to attract makers and other people who are interested in technology aside from just security people. It also has a bigger focus on art, so you will see art all over the conference, and frankly it's where I go to learn a lot more about what types of artistic materials I can use for my own projects. Another thing about the C3 conference is that it is cold. There is a lot of rain and I've never had to teach an electronics class before with wet electronics, but this is the first time that it happened thanks to a downpour. Some other things about the conference that are uniquely C3 is the filming policy. You are not allowed to record anybody's face without permission, and that made it pretty difficult to film a lot of what I was trying to record. Some other aspects are the klub slash flower mata, which is everywhere, stroop waffles, which are a Dutch waffle that is amazing, chaos post, which is capable of sending your message anywhere in the conference beyond or even into the future, and sticker exchanges, which are tables set up to exchange stickers, allowing you to both contribute and find some truly amazing stickers at the conference. Some other differences from conferences like DEF CON include the naming of the volunteers. Instead of goons, we have angels, and instead of villages, we have self-organized sessions, which, as the name implied, are self-organized and easy for anybody to get involved with. You also typically won't see sponsors, corporations, or governments advertising here as they do sometimes at Black Hat or DEF CON. Instead, you tend to see hackerspaces from all over the world coming together to show off what they've done that year. So where could you find me this year at the C3 conference? Well, I was teaching a handful of workshops as well as doing a talk on microcontroller education. In fact, I got to teach about 175 people across the seven workshops that my team got to teach. And that meant that I had friends all over the conference, so I got to meet educators and students from all over the world, which was truly awesome. Among my favorite things at the 37th C3 conference was the lockpicking challenge. Now, it challenged you to pick this with a paperclip, and it would turn bright green if you managed to succeed, but I never got to see this because I got frustrated well before getting into the box. Another thing I loved was the interactive art everywhere. There was a blacklight area with neon tape that everyone contributed to, and also blinky light and diffusers like ducting and pipes all over the conference, lending a beautiful and aesthetic artistic vibe that you don't always get at conferences like DEF CON. Some other projects that I loved included a MicroPython powered flower project badge which had capacitive touch pedals. Oh. Hey, there we go. As well as a LED controller crafted as a LCAR Star Trek computer interface. The C3 conference has a history of talks that involve the way that technology intersects with society, and this version was no stranger to that concept. In fact, my favorite talk was about Polish trains and how the manufacturer was monitoring them to see if they went to unofficial repair garages, and if this happened, they would brick the trains and force them to be brought in for repairs at expensive official garages. Now, this talk was uh, pretty groundbreaking, and it was really cool to see, even if it did also involve the security researchers in this case getting threatened by the Polish train company. You can check out the talks from the C3 conference on their YouTube channel, and if you want my personal recommendations, here are a few of my favorite talks. First, we have what I learned from Loeb. This was a meme AI demon that was created by a artist who was working with AI image generation and is one of my favorite talks on art and AI. Next, we have sucking dust and cutting grass, reversing robots and bypassing security, focusing on the security of uh, robots like grass cutters and uh, I guess uh, trash suckers. After my DEF CON talk, uh, this August, some people from some US organizations came to me and I was like, hey, we are wondering, can we find people with these devices if they have cameras, like, you know, in countries? And I was like, 
Okay, if we are able to find these things, then people who have like a lot of time and a lot of money can find these things too. And then we also have unlocked recovering files taken hostage by ransomware. This was an interesting talk about how some cryptographic mistakes by the ransomware gang actually allowed victims to recover their files. And finally, we have a talk that I found very interesting on Tor censorship attempts in Russia, Iran, and Turkmenistan. As you can see, there's a lot of reasons to consider checking out the Chaos Communication Congress, so maybe I'll see you there next year.